Hi, my name's Sophia, and in this audio, I want to give a quick tip on if you're missing your person, you're getting that pull, or if you feel frustrated, or if you're not in contact with your person, um, just a little advice of what to do. So generally, what you resist persists. So if you're really pulled towards your person, which twin flames generally are, but you're frustrated like, oh, where's my person, where's my person, that resistance keeps persisting. So the other way I would suggest of doing it is to understand, because understanding is settling that resistance. So take an acknowledgement and understanding yes i am a twin flame so that's acknowledging it and yes that's my person but then state but he's not ready or he's not here so now i must do me and do mission another way of doing it when you get little pulls is just simply instead of stating where's my person just change that frequency of wanting wanting is i miss my person when this happens with the push and pull and say you split up with your person generally this is a cycle within the twin flame dynamic which pushes you up to the next level let's kind of call it but you know that's kind of how i can explain it on this kind of um 3d from the 5d but what generally happens if you keep continually going into cycles so when you're on the a cycle of kind of splitting up this is the worst time yes but what most do particularly the feminines man or woman is that they try to cut it properly the connection thinking a that the person doesn't give a shit which that's incorrect or b that if you cut it and try to break it like you have with other soulmates or uh, dates or whatever in the past that will be better for you in the long run because you know it's your person so if they come back that's fine you can just continue on but you know when you broke up with someone in the past and you kind of forgot them you could move on with your life so most try to do it that way but what happens is well firstly you're twin flame if not you wouldn't be listening to this when you totally disconnect like that like with if you do with a soulmate what happens is your person feels that total disconnect and because they're in more of a third dimension not a spiritual connection and whatnot's over there most of them not all of them but most of them and if they are more spiritual not necessarily their environment what they will then feel that disconnect and think well you know he or she's not interested she's definitely moved on by doing it how I stated and acknowledging it's your person still keeps that energy, that lamascape keeps going round and round. So you're still energetically still pulled towards your person, but you're lessening that massive pull by accepting it's your person and accepting that they're over there on their path. That way your person still gets to pull towards you at the same time, which is very, very, very important because like I state, if you disconnect and try to disconnect such as a soulmate, they will think that you have gone completely because they won't feel you. That feeling frequency is important. So when they're pissed off, with their relationship or whatever third party, they can then fill the pool of you to ease them. If they're over there and they just automatically just switch to thinking about you, that's what the pool does. Then they can't get you out of their mind. Then they get pulled or well, you know, over time they're like, well, I'm just constantly thinking about this person. I've got to make the changes to come towards this person. This person is for me. So it's very important that you try not to disconnect. I mean, people say cut the cord, which that doesn't do anything because you can't cut energy. That's what the cord is, the lamascate, the infinite symbol. You can't cut that. But there is people that really try to uh, disconnect um, properly you know go over there date someone else and what happens is your energy focuses onto the new person and I repeat that's where 
twin flames do actually separate because you've just shifted your energy onto someone else you're still connected you've just shifted your focus so please favorite this audio or pin it or whatever you have to do you know pissed off moments missing your person that kind of thing and try to remember this or write it down put up a sign in your room or something like that that's what I used to do initially when um, I used to be pulled towards my person so much I used to um, say this to myself and it released it and actually say you know I release that and then get on with my day and I actually that's what I done I released it and then I got on with my day if you have to do it every day it's about doing what's best for you to help you so if you have to do it four times a day if that's it depends on the planets I mean if the planets are in full for force and in retrograde you might have to do this more so don't feel bad if like one day I didn't have the pull and the next day I had to do this exercise like eight times you can't say oh well you know I'm freaking out it's the planets that is pushing you and then sometimes they push your person that is exactly the polarity of this yin and yang. The balance is trying to create balance between both of you. That's what the Lamasgate is doing. That is exactly what the push and pull is. So hopefully this has helped you. Like I said, pin it, favorite it, do what you got to do and write it down because this will help you to release that pull so much so you can get on hopefully with mission. Speak to you later.